Hey man, YouTube, it's about your boys today. Today, I got something different for y'all boys today. I got a fucking story time, you feel me? Probably the latest story time I'm ever even finna share on this channel, bro. This bitch better go crazy, bro. This is a story that I haven't told anybody. I told a handful of people actually this story. Not too many people know, especially my side of the story. Not too many people know, like, you feel me? Like, this whole story that that shit even happened because I'm a type person like I don't really like the I don't want nobody to laugh at my pain but now that I'm you feel me I've been over it for a little minute now like some years I can actually tell my story to y'all you feel me I can I can bring y'all in y'all can get to know me y'all can y'all get to y'all get to laugh at my pain on some Kevin Hart shit you feel me um basically by the title you feel me I know you read it um I'm gonna be telling y'all how my best friend fucked my girl. He, he, he fucked my girl. Now, at the time, I used girl real loosely because she wasn't supposed to be anything of that. She was just supposed to be another tree. She was supposed to be another hoe. She was supposed to be somebody to, you feel me, to fuck, pipe and dismiss, get the fuck out of here. Just somebody to get off on, get up out of here, but that didn't happen. You feel me? I'm let y'all know how that happened. Um, before we get into it though, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe, subscribe, click that bell. I don't even want to do no intro, I want to hop straight into the story, I ain't gonna lie. Um, basically this all started when I was 17, 17, yeah, um, senior year in high school, the beginning of the year in high school, actually. <sighs> this shit was crazy. Um, at the time, I had just started getting hoes. Keep it a bean with y'all. I just started getting bitches. Before then, I really wasn't getting any bitches. Like, I didn't have no hoes. I wasn't in, like, I wasn't really in shape, any kind of shape. I was fat, you feel me? I wasn't really attractive to females, I guess so to say. So, at that point in time, I started getting in shape. I started looking better, you feel me? And y'all know how that go, you feel me? The hoes, the hoes started, I guess they started fucking my brain. I guess they started loving me, which is crazy, but that. Yeah, never mind. They started fucking with the kids, you feel me? I was able to shoot my shot at numerous targets and damn near hit all of them. But, um, that was after that experience, though. But, um, basically, um, I started talking to this girl, you feel me? Seen her up on Snapchat and I shot my shot at her. Nothing too crazy. Um, I shot my shot at Shorty, got her number, you feel me? We texted lightly. Um, I got to talking to my mans because I believe my mans knew her before me. So I got to talking to my mans or whatever to kind of get a background check up on her. You feel me? You know, y'all know how I go. You feel me? You see a girl and you like, I need to know what like was to her before I really get into her. You feel what I'm saying? So basically, I talked to my mans who was at the time. You feel me? I'd say he was my best friend. That's that's still gang, but it was, it was my best friend. You feel me? Um. I was like, damn, bro, you feel me? You know, shorty, you feel me? Woo -doo -woo. He like, yeah, go do that. Because at the time, bro, I'm the virgin. I'm the virgin of the group. I'm the virgin of the group. So they like, go knock that down, bro. You 17. Everybody ain't got some coochie. It's time for you to go get some coochie, brother. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm finna go hit that, bro. I'm finna go crazy. Um, also had the conf confidence was through the fucking roof. But for what reason, I don't know. You feel me? I was really... I don't know what the fuck was going on. Like, confidence was crazy. So, um, I got to basically talking to show you from me with the chopping up. I got to know her. Um, this was all within, like, a month, two months. Month and a half, actually. She was going actually kind of good, kind of fast. I'm a type person, you feel me? I get easily attached. We fall asleep on FaceTime, like, every night, bro. Especially at that time, like, after nobody finding me good looking or attractive to being a fucking god. Not attractive to being a god. Like, y'all can imagine how that change kind of felt. You feel me? So, basically, um, we got to chopping it up and whatnot. Uh, she starts sliding up on my, my Snapchat shit. You feel me? As we talk, I'm sliding up on her. I'm like, oh, cool. She really fucked with me. So, we get to FaceTime, fall asleep on the phone every night. Alright, so, you feel me? Like I said, we got to FaceTime. You feel me? Fall asleep on the phone every night. My camera holding you this. So, I had to, like, you feel me? Yeah. We got the FaceTime fall asleep on the phone night. Y'all already know how that go, you feel me? Back in the day. Not back in the day, but... Kind of still, like, you fall asleep on the phone with somebody, you kind of build a connection. Unknowingly, knowingly, you kind of build a connection. At the time, I wasn't trying to build no connection. I tell you what, we was just trying to, you feel me? But I ended up falling for her. 
Um, she also told me like her trauma, you feel me, the shit she went through with some niggas and I'm a sucker. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a I'm a sucker for shit like that, bro. Like I'm the type of nigga like I'm a like I'm a great guy. Even back then I was a great guy. I'm I was I'm a great guy, bro. But um I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. Woody woo, you feel me? That shit was that shit was what it was, you feel me? I was helping her with deal with her trauma, you feel me, help her become a better person and things of that nature. Um, after that, we still doing good, you feel me, for like a month. You feel me? I'm like, cool. Um, I'm a little nervous, you feel me? Uh I just had started driving, so I wasn't really trying to I'm nervous, like I'm scared, cause like at this point in time. I don't really know nothing about sex. I'm like, I'm not really trying to get embarrassed because based off of the way she talked, she was kind of experienced. So I wasn't trying to embarrass myself. None of that. I'm like, I'm hesitant to pull the trigger. You feel me? Because I'm like, I can drive. I could pull up on her. You feel me? But hey, like, the fuck? My nigga, I don't know what to do. I don't have no moves. I don't I don't have no... It's like you catching a the ball and they're like, ISO. I don't got no dribbles, my nigga. I don't, I don't have no... I don't have nothing for you, bitch. Are you feel me? I didn't know what the fuck to do. Um, so I'm real hesitant about linking up with her or whatever. So like we talked for like a much day. I'm getting to know her. She getting to know me. We getting like hella close. At least I'm thinking. We getting hella close. You feel me? I'm like, oh yeah. I'm also still talking to other females, but I'm like, she I, if I could date somebody, if I would pull the cut trigger, if I would pull the trigger on somebody, it'd be her. So one weekend, you feel me, one Saturday, we stay on the phone for 24 hours. Now this is some real kid shit. Some real lazy muff or some I ain't got nothing to do today shit. We stayed on the phone for 24 hours. The whole day. No hang ups. No hold up. No I'm going to text you. No. None of that shit, bro. We stayed on the phone all day. We fell asleep on the phone like three, four times. Steady taking naps. We talking. She talking to a friend. I'm on the game. Like, it's good vibes. Like, real good vibes. I'm like, damn. Like, she really rocking with me. Like, rocking with me. Rocking with me. I'm like, cool. Like. I got this shit in the bag. At this point, I'm like, damn, I got this shit in the bag. I'm relaxed. I'm like, Phew. you might got your first one, and she might actually be your girl. So, my nigga, don't fuck this up. All right? So, um, also, at this point, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of a fucking diva. Like, I, I was, the way I'm acting towards females and doing shit is just fucking crazy. Like, I'm blocking girls for no reason, like, I still kind of do that. But I'm blocking hoes for no reason. I'm ghosting them. I'm doing whatever the fuck. I'm treating these, I'm treating 90% of the girls I'm talking to like straight trash. I'm treating them like straight garbage, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I get what I want in the edition of which at the time wasn't no sex because I'm, I'm nervous. So, goddamn, nudes. I'm like, oh, I got nudes. Get the fuck out of here. Like, that's kind of how it's going. Um, if you heard my last, my other story time, I blocked the girl because she was on her period, bro. Like, that's the type of nigga I was at that point in time. I felt like I was the fucking greatest. I still am. But, at that point in time, I was like, nigga, you a fucking god. These hoes can't tell you nothing. So, um, we stayed on the phone, you feel me? And then, a few days later, as we, it's a school day. Oh, um, yeah. It's a school day. A few days later, you feel me? Something had happened. I'm so pissed. I can't remember what happened. Something had happened. You feel me? Um, and I was we get, had gotten into a little argument while we was at school. You feel me? And the type of nigga I was at that point in time, I wasn't really trying to talk it out with you. You feel me? Real childish of me. But I wasn't really trying to talk it out. Um, she said something. I said something back. And then she said something, and I never responded. Because at the time, like, I'm telling you, I felt like a fucking demigod. So I'm like, I don't need to talk to you, bitch. Like, I really liked you. I like you a lot. But fuck you. Simple. Like, you feel me? Like, that's how I really was. Um, I'm like, damn, you feel me? She was cool, but I'm ready to let her have her space. And I'm ready to go talk to some hoes and go get some more nudes, bro. Like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. So, I basically stopped talking to her for like the rest of that whole day. I hit her up later that night. Um, no response. And as I said before, we supposed to sleep on the phone every night. So, I fell asleep by myself that night. You feel me? Felt the type of way, but it was whatever. Um, <clears throat> we got down. It's the next morning. You feel me? I text her good morning. She texts me back good morning. We, we seem to be back on the same page. We seem to be back on the same page. It seems to be cool, calm. You feel me? And mind you. The whole time I'm talking to this girl for the whole month, I'm telling my mans, like, 
I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit that. She just a she just a hoe. You, I'm not telling him how I'm really feeling about this girl. But it's also some shit going on his side that he not telling me. So we got down. We get the goddamn school or whatever the next day. You feel me? Like I said, we on the same page. Text her good morning. We still chopping it up throughout the day, and we get to, it's time to go to class. To the class me and my man's is in to go talk. About. And I basically use that as time we talk about girls. You feel me? So we get to talking about hoes or whatever, and I'm like, I'm like, uh, what did I say? I said. I said, I said, bro, keep it being. You won't be able to take none of the hoes that I got. You can't, you can't even touch them. I'm a, these hoes is untouchable. They, they, and they. I done threw the little Fortnite shield down. You feel me? I put the portal down. You can't shoot in here. These hoes is mine. That's how, that's how I was. You feel me? I was like, these hoes is mine, my nigga. Um, he was like, well, what girls you think I can't take from you? And I'm like, none of them, nigga. Like, you can't take none of them. And he was like, oh, word. Um, and he was smiling whilst saying it. I don't know how to, I think he got the conversation to, for me to say this shit, but he was smiling, initiating the conversation. So I'm like, why the fuck this nigga smiling? Yeah, it was funny. I ain't say nothing funny. I'm being for real. Cause at the time, you, at the time, I'm still confident as fuck, but at that time, confident as fuck still. So I'm like, what the fuck are you, what the fuck is you geeking for? Just dumb ass. Like, what you do? What you got going? Why you smiling hard, nigga? So, um, he's smirking and shit. He like, oh, word. Um, I linked, I linked shorty last night. Cracked her, went crazy. Went fucking crazy in the back seat of the car. Dogging her shit out. He, I don't remember, I, he might have described this shit to me, but he, he said he was going crazy. He said he was going crazy. So I'm like, damn, yo, as he telling me this shit, bro, I didn't never, I, this, I, I, I don't know how to feel about because I feel like it's my mistake for not telling this nigga. But I also feel like as dumb mans, you shouldn't even do that. Like you shouldn't even, you know what your man is trying to do. Like, or you should like let him know on some shit. But at that point in time, I didn't really didn't know how to decipher that shit. I'm like, bro, I like her. Like he don't know that, but bro. I like her a lot. I wanted to date this girl. Like, we was locked in, twin. Like, every single day, FaceTime, talk, FaceTime, talk, FaceTime, talk, every single day, my nigga. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, it's no way he hit her. It's, it's no fucking way he, it's no way, no way he hit her. And he for sure, he certainly did hit her. So as he tell me, you feel me, we standing about arm length. I got pretty long arms. We stand about arm arm length away from each other. And as we stand away from each other, um I wanted to punch the nigga. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a nigga, I got I got good self-control, but once I get mad, I'm kinda there. But I wanted to hit the nigga. I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to sock the shit out the nigga because I'm like, bro, I like this bitch and you just fucked this bitch. I liked this bitch and you just fucked this bitch. The bitch that I was gonna let. Have my virginity. Take it. Huh, my baby. Take it. That's what I was going to do. I was going, huh, my baby. But, um, he fucked her. Um, and he told me to my face. And I was sitting there like this, boy. I don't know what my face was like to him, but on the inside, boy, I was done. On the inside, I was done. That shit hurt. Like, you know how when you about to cry, you get, like, the golf ball in your throat? Like, you just, like. <laughs> like you get the golf ball and your shit Like bro that's how I felt bro I felt like I was about to fucking cry I'm sitting there in class bro I'm like damn as he telling me He laughing and shit He like yeah I went crazy you feel me You should definitely go hit that though bro Like that's cool. Like, nigga passed me his leftovers Like like the shit was cool And then um I'm like I'm playing it off You feel me but like I'm, I'm hurt Like I'm dicked on that like bro my heart felt like it got broke, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That was like that felt like the first time my heart like that real live was like one of the first times a nigga heart got broke. Like I'm like, even though I wasn't supposed to be in that position, like it was she was really supposed to be a fucking duck, but I just was like, I really started falling for this girl. But um Yeah. I'm like, damn bro. 
she just another hoe though. Like that's how I'm telling I'm brushing it off. I'm like, she just another hoe, you feel me? <laughs> like literally, no, this is like, this is exactly what I said. I said, bro, she just another hoe, bro. We get another one tomorrow. You feel me? Ain't nothing too crazy. I'm smiling, making jokes on the inside. I wanna fucking cry. Real rap. I wanted to cry. I'm like, damn. You fucked my bitch, basically. You fucked my bitch. I, you didn't know it was my bitch, but you fucked my bitch, bro. But, um, I'm like, damn, she another hoe. You feel me? Get another one tomorrow. It don't even matter. We dishing these hoes out. But, um, I sat in the class quiet for the rest of the class. The rest of 45 minutes, I sat in that bitch like this. Thinking. And she texted me, bro. The bitch got the nerve. She texted me. She texted me, bro. And I'm, I'm... Whatever, I'm dismissing it. She like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? You feel me? And this is what my folks call my fucking bae. She like, what's wrong, babe? What's wrong, babe? What's wrong, babe? What's wrong, babe? Um, so we end up on the phone. I get out the school bus. You feel me? I get out the school bus. I go straight home, hop straight in fetal position. Every time I ever took an L during high school, in life, in general, anytime I ever took an L, I went home and got in fetal position. Lay right down in bed, took my tall ass, and was and went right to sleep. That, that was it. I'm done. I'm going to talk to everybody later. I went and took me a nap. You feel me? Went and took me a nap. Um, called her. Later that night, my mom house. Uh, uh, mom house. Called her. We on the phone. She on the phone smiling and shit. She set the phone up or whatever. She she, she acting like everything normal. And I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the bitch on the phone like this. I know, I know what you've done. I know that you bamboozled me, bitch. I know this. Bitch, I know the truth. I know the truth, whore. I know the truth. Mind you, at the time, I was still talking to countless hoes, but at the time, I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed, my nigga. I feel down. This, I was down to the crust of the core of the earth, nigga. I was, bro. I was moving loose as hell. Loose as young bull. That's exactly what I was at the time. I was moving loose as hell. Loose as nigga, bro. Um, when you're on the phone and shit, she dancing, she talking, she set the phone up. And we talking. I'm like, I said three phrases. Word. Mmm. I. Swear to God. I, s I sat on the phone. She asking me questions. I word. Hmm, I word, word, I word, I. And I just kept doing it, bro. And like, she was like, What's wrong with you? Why you got an attitude? I was like, Now I'm the type of nigga, you feel me? To this day, motherfuckers probably still don't know why I never spoke to them again. <coughs> or why I never fucked with them again after that. But to this day, like, I was like, I was like, Yeah, I'm just finna go to sleep, bro. Didn't even tell her, didn't tell the girl nothing, didn't let her know nothing, didn't tell, didn't let her know that I knew because I'm, I'm dumb man, bro. I was like, I shouldn't have been in that position. I should have played my cards like I should have did what I was supposed to fucking do. And I should have just, I should have just let it, I should have let, you feel me? I should have did what I was supposed to do, bro. I should have crashed, I should have crushed her and got the fuck on. Instead, I play games and push buttons, bro. I played too many fucking games at that time. I played too many games. Too nervous. You should have just went and knocked down the shot. You had the corner three wide open. But you wanted to come to the top of the king and get the buzzer beater. Why? It was no point. So, I basically should have knocked that down. And, uh, yeah, we went back to school, like, the next day. I'm talking to my man. So, I'm like, damn. Because, like, you feel me? After I, finally, after I finally, like, the shit finally, ooh, stop out of me. It, it, ooh, it, Ooh, side up out of me, and I'm calm and relaxed and shit. I'm like, damn, she a whore. That's what's up. I just wasted a whole fucking month and a half talking to this bitch. But I'm talking to him like, damn, how the fuck, like, how did that even happen? Like, try and get the backstory, you feel me? He like, well, bro, she was sliding up on my pictures. Like, all of them, look, bro. He showing me proof. Like, she's every picture this nigga post, hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes. Hard I'm like, when do, when do this shit stop? Hard eyes. I'm like, bro, nigga, she was sliding up on every picture game. That shit was so, like, that shit blew my mind. And after the fact, bro, after that shit, bro, I was like, dog. Wait, 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 uh, basically we say, I don't know who real, I don't know who to trust. Niggas around this bitch loose, I had to tighten up. I'm looking for a real bitch. I think I'm out of luck. Like, that's how I felt, bro, like. 
I was really moving loose as a bitch, loose ass nigga at that time, bro. I'm like, damn, she got me. Like, and I couldn't even do nothing but hold my L, so I really just embraced my L at that point. Like, I'm like, damn, bro. You just dicked it. Like, you had one job, you fucked it up, and you just, you fell for the wrong person. And after that time, bro, I'm gonna keep it a bean. That shit threw me off for a little minute. Like, it's easy to get over this shit. Get over this shit, but like that shit threw me off for a little second, bro. Like I really wasn't. I went on like a street. Just none of y'all business, but y'all niggas bitches thought I was cheating them bad before that incident. After that incident, the shit was terrible. I ain't gonna lie, the shit was bad, bro. Um. That shit turned, when they, like, I saw TikToks and shit saying, once you get your heart broken, that shit turned you into a demon. That shit real alive turned me into a demon. I felt like KD out that bitch. I was, like, just because, like, bro, bitch broke my heart. Like, is all y'all like this? All y'all play games like this, bro? Like, y'all can smile in nigga face. Like, when the fuck did you have the time to even cheat, bitch? And all it took was, my nigga, it took one singular day. One singular day, not even 24 hours, nigga. That shit took goddamn motherfucking 12 hours, bro. To 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 do some fuck shit. It ain't even take a whole day, bro. I literally got an argument with the bitch the same night. The same night. I told y'all. I told y'all the same night. That goddamn we wasn't talking. Was the same night he linked her and fucked her, bro. The same night we went. All it took was one fucking argument. One argument and the bitch, the bitch got me. The bitch backdoored me and caught a fucking oop. She caught that bitch like bronze. She caught, she caught it from back here. She caught that bitch back like this. And, oh shit. And she, boom, she banged that bitch. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck me up for a little second, bro. I did not trust hoes for a while. Um, but, you know, we eventually got over that shit like months after after we started talking to other females and things of that nature and eventually you know what I'm saying found somebody worthy enough to even me but um that's, a, that's another story for another fucking time <laughs> damn this shit 17 minutes long I hope you feel me y'all fuck with that story um damn that shit that story is crazy cause I real life never really told nobody that story that shit was wild Fellas, sorry I say. And this is the this is the only like this is some of the like key shit. Like if you in high school, middle school, whatever, I'ma let you know now. Your bitch is gonna cheat on you. It's just bound to happen. You in high school, middle school, if you really in high school, bro, the bitch the bitch is gonna cheat on you, bro. Everybody seeing everybody, you feel me? Your bitch gonna cheat on you. It's just gonna happen. If you a young adult, your bitch is gonna cheat on you. I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you know before it happened to you. Your bitch is gonna cheat on you. Go. I thought I was. I thought I was dodging all the heartbreak. I'm like, my nigga, no bitch wanna really fuck with me. I don't really look good to all these bitches. At that at the time before that, like my ninth, tenth, eleventh grade year, I'm like, I'm dodging heartbreak. The first one I find gonna be my baby. Gonna be my baby, my beloved. Duh. She gonna get decorated on the pedestal. And this bitch dumped on me. What the fuck, yo? That shit, that shit was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Um, if y'all boys did enjoy you, baby, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. If y'all want more story times, you feel me? Let me know. And I also got a surprise for y'all coming up the beginning of next year. Got some special for y'all. We finna, we finna do this shit for real, bro. On God, on God, on God, on God. Oh my god. <laughs> it's your boy Brady Jesus. And I'm out. <coughs>